because they are number three in the state in the class double A. Good run right here for the Redskins. We did not have a program over there, so we can't identify much things. We're not going to make up. Brian Bullock breaks up this pass here. Good break up, Brian. But the Redskins finally prevail on this drive. And they go into the score. That gave Pocahontas a 14 to nothing first quarter lead in the Chiefs. Like that. Woo, 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 woo. No, I'll forgive you. But in the second quarter, Hoxie running back Chris Coates makes a fine run. Good hard run. Great game tackling. And quarterback Travis Eade makes a good pass with the with Redskins uh, held. When Pocahontas gets the ball back, Casey Chester proceeds to go only 98 yards for an apparent touchdown. But the old yellow flag was brought out, and that didn't count. Let's go to the final score on that one. Pocahontas rolls over hockey 40 to nothing tonight. A trip back down the road to the community of Walnut Ridge for the Bobcat. Bridget Chris Hogan, daughter of
tonight to Polk Hunters Redskins football, where we've got the homecoming of the 1993 Polk Hunters Redskins starting here in just a moment. And, of course, this is a topical party as the uh, homecoming clean courts were uh, previously announced. The parents' night was tonight. This is an ongoing thing tonight of uh, activities that uh, Pocahontas is recognizing. And, of course, uh, we'll be back with opening kickoff in just one moment. You'll stay tuned to the Pocahontas Redskins Network, and we'll be back in just one moment. Singers on the field, gang. That's right, Ron. This is the... 1993 homecoming game for the senior high Redskins and captains for the Redskins, the seniors out on the field. And we'll try to get all of them for you. Number 77, Alex Phillips, a senior for the Redskins. And number 61, Chad Benson, another senior. And also number 72 for the Redskins, Ryan Cooper. And number 81, John McCall, number 71. And, well, I don't have a list for 71. I uh, don't either. But we'll, we'll come back to him. Number 24 is Brandon Sisko. Number 34, Casey Chester. Number 44, Craig Ball. Number 51, Chris Hinkle. Number 83, David Williams. Number 64, Pete Bounds. Number 62, Brian Perry. Number 78, Sean Smith. Number 12, Jeremy Presley. And number 56, Chris Dickler. And that's the seniors for the Redskins and captains tonight in this homecoming game for 1993. And the Redskins will be taking on the Hoxie Mustangs. And they're going to go out to the center field. Number 34, Casey Chester. Number 44, Craig Baltz. And number 51, Chris Hinkle. Get to toss the coin out there and see what happens. And uh, uh, we've got Coach Bennett right here. We'll just ask him. Uh, he, he ought to be full of knowledge. Well, he should. Uh, 71. That's our Lawrence uh, Chang student. I think it's pronounced Lindquist. I, I will find out for you to make sure okay. I got that. Okay. Uh, Coach Bennett says that's a foreign exchange student. I uh, certainly just uh, enrolled uh, maybe a little late uh, in the, in the uh, year. So uh, Lindquist, he believes the name. He'll get us a... Uh, a correct name for number 71. I was correct on that. Thomas Lindquist. Thomas Lindquist, number 71, a foreign exchange student playing football. You know, we had one last year. That we did. It's, and, and I'm not even going to attempt to try to get uh, Thibault. No, not Thibault. I'm thinking of those foreign exchange students from Florida Club, uh, both uh, John and Thibault. But uh, he was from, he was, uh, Pat Carroll had that young man. Yeah, that's right. And uh, he was a kicker. And I think he got picked one, I believe. And he... Hoxie Mustangs have won the toss, and they're going to elect to receive to start the ball game. And the Redskins will be kicking off here to start this 1993 homecoming game. Redskins come into the ball game undefeated on the year after a good ball game last week over at Corning. And the Redskins, another conference game as they take on Hoxie. Hoxie uh, is a much improved team over last year. Hoxie has a couple of wins already this year, and they have one conference victory. I believe over Pickett. And here comes the Redskins. We'd like to welcome everyone tonight to Pocahontas kind of for Redskins football. Once again, I'm Ron Benson, and with me is Mr. Gary Cole. Y'all stay tuned as we bring you back more Redskins action in just one moment. Time for the action here as the opening kickoff goes, Mr. Cole. Okay, number 24, Brandon Cisco is the kicker. Number 41, Brent Reynolds. 34, Casey Chester, 10, Stephen Malone, 57, Joe Jansen, 44, Balt, 81, McCall, 64, Bounds, 33, Shane Martin, number 40, Jerry Fears, and number 21, Ralph Collier on the kickoff team for the Redskins as Cisco's kick's going to go bounce up and be taken at the 26-yard line by Hoxie. He's going to be immediately dropped by number 81, McCall, and John McCall has done that time after time on the kickoff this year. Michigan's good kick coverage, and McCall was there to make the play on the 33-yard line, so Hoxie will take over. First down and 10 from their own 33. And a big, big crowd here tonight for homecoming for the Redskins. A nice, huge big crowd. And up to the line is Hoxie, and We'll talk a little bit more about what we can expect to see out of them. Does he give up the middle and he is hit immediately by at least uh, six or seven Redskins. 
try to get who was on the on the bottom of it. Number 81, McFall, and number 33, Martin, in on the bottom of that pile. But a host of the Redskins in on the tackle. No gain on the play. Second down and 10 for the Mustangs. And what we can, we think we can expect from what I've read about Hoxie and uh, is got a, uh, a couple of good running backs. Don't throw a whole lot, but uh, they, they do like to run. And now they come out with a pass, and it's going to be incomplete. And that may be why they don't throw a lot. As Richkin's now going to have a third down coming up defensively to start the ball game. And uh, as the Hawks get back to pass, and it is incomplete. Taken down by number 10, Steve Malone. As the Redskins hold them there on the line of the about the 25. They're going to give, give up the ball here on the fourth down with about nine to go. Hockey back to the kick. They punch the ball off. Okay, see Chester with the ball. Chester going. Chester going. Down the field. Chester on the front return. A good run. I thought he was going to get it all the way, but he did get it down inside the 10 at about the 8. So Casey Chester comes up with the big play early on the punt return for the Redskins. Excellent play by Chester. I tell you, come in back and, and he moves it all the way down the 8 yard line. First and goal to go for the Redskins. Ball at the Hoxie 8 yard line. Number 14, Zach Wellman, at a quarterback. There's a give to Martin off the right side, and Martin's up the middle, and Martin is in for the touchdown, I believe. He is. Now look at that clock, Gary. It was 10 minutes and 28 seconds. Right in the middle of that clock. Two plays, the Redskins are in on, on the board as Chester gets the big top punt return, and Martin takes it in on the first play from scrimmage, and the Redskins are on the board. And I think we're coming unhooked or something, right? No, we're doing fine. Okay, we're fine. And set to attempt the extra point, number 24, Brandon Sisko. Number 12, Jeremy Presley. And we don't talk a lot about the holder, but Presley's got a tough job of holding that ball as Sisko's kicked up, and it looks good. It is. It looks cool now. 7-11 in favor of him. Oh, the Redskins. The Redskins are on the board. And cheerleaders are excited just like we are about homecoming tonight. We'll take a look at all these fine folks out there. I mean, those fans are here for a good game. It is. It's relaxed. A lot of people here tonight for homecoming, and they, uh, they got uh, their money's worth right off the bat. Uh, Chester. I don't know where to catch it all, about the 35. Oh, about uh, 35 is good. I was busy back there talking and just uh, picked it up as he was taking off. And uh, But he returned it down the eight-yard line for a big return, and then Martin takes it in on the first play from scrimmage for the Redskins. And the Redskins are out to a seven to nothing lead here with 10.28 left to go in the first quarter. Okay, set to kick here, number 10, Stephen Malone. And Malone's kick's gonna be taken down on the, about the 25 yard line. And he's gonna be hit hard there by number 34, Chester. And also in there, number 40, Jerry Fears. And the ball's out at the 41-yard line of the Mustangs. So they'll take over there first down and 10 from their own 41. Redskins lead it 7 to nothing. Number 80, Michael Johnson, Johnson in at a defensive end. There's 61, Chad Benson at the other end. The down line was 64 bounds, 40 fears, and 51, Chris Hinkle. Get up to the fullback, and he's going nowhere. And somebody's got him right to the ankles, and I bet you I can tell you who that is. Number 64 bounds, and I bet you Hinkle's in there. Hinkle's in there. He's here at 51, and he was in there, but I think Fears is the one I really saw. Yep. Uh, but 40 Fears, 
51 Hinkle, 64 Bounds have played really well there all year long, and they not liking anything, letting anything go up the middle so far tonight. They're holding them tough. I tell you, they've held them so far for two yards. They haven't gone very far at all. It's second down and nine now for Hoxie. Ball to 42 of Hoxie. Back to pass is the quarterback. He's being rushed, and now he's going to be spun down and then hit hard. He was hemmed up in there by number six or number 64, Pete Bounds, and number 80, Michael Johnson. And he was trying to pass. There was such a rush in that offensive line that he was just trying for his life. That's all he was doing. He was just trying to get out of there and try to make something out of nothing. And he did, uh, well, maybe it's about the line of scrimmage, so no game for Hoxie. They split wide receivers to both sides of the field on third down and nine. Back to pass is the quarterback. Pass over the middle. It's going to be incomplete. Covering over there, Telemeyer, and also coming up Cisco, and Martin dropping back in the linebacker's position. So it's going to be fourth down now for Hoxie, and they're going to be forced to punt again here. That's number 21, Ralph Collier checks in on the punt return team. Back deep is Casey Chester, and this time Chester standing on his own 26-yard line. And let's see, let's see if they elect to punt to him this time. That they do. And they do punt it to him again, and this time he's going to get another return. And But he's caught that time on a good tackle by the Hoxie defender at the 28-yard line. So the Redskins have first down and 10 from their own 28. Let's set the offensive line for you. Number 60, Brian Jansen. Number 62, Brian Perry. Number 77, Alex Phillips. Number 51, Chris Hinkle, the center. 14, Zach Wellman is the quarterback. Presley, number 12, Jeremy Presley as a wide out. And also 41, Grant Reynolds. 34, Casey Chester in the slot. The fullback is 33, Martin. The tailback is 24, Cisco. Pitch to Cisco. Cisco cuts it around the side. He's to the 35, 40, and up to the 42-yard line. On a good quick hitter, on a quick pitch to Cisco. He picks up the first down, picked up about uh, 13 or 14 yards on that play. Up to the 43-yard line. Number 24, Brandon Cisco. First down and 10 from the 43 for the Redskins. As number 14, Wellman, is up to the line. Pitch this time to Cisco to the other side. Cisco trying to get around, and Cisco gets around. He's down to the, about the 45-yard line before he's knocked out of bounds, but he picks up about another 13 yards on that play. And good, quick running by number 24, Cisco, and he, he got to that corner quick and just set the sidelines on fire that time. He keeps doing that, Ron. He, he's going to get around and, and just break loose here shortly. And the Crisco will be cooking. He'll be a cooking Crisco, I'm telling you. <laughs> we got it. And he got his number, don't we? We got it. <laughs> 83, David Williams in at a wideout on the near side. This time they give it to Martin, and Martin's tripped up after a game of about three. Gets down to the 43-yard line. He's second down in seven for the Redskins. <laughs> and the Redskins now up the line on second and seven. And we're going to have illegal procedure. Pass after Chester is going to be incomplete. Uh, the Redskins moved a little early, so that one's going to come back. It's going to be a five-yard penalty against the Redskins for illegal procedure. 7.37 left in the first quarter. Redskins lead the ball game 7 to nothing as they scored on the first play from scrimmage from the eight-yard line of Hoxie. Martin took it in for the TD. What was that, Ron? 
I didn't penalty touch. was declined. Yes, it was. Yeah, penalty declined by Hostie. So it'll be third down now and seven. It's third and seven. And Wellman up to the line now. Pitch out to Cisco. Cisco cuts it up. Now he cuts it out. And oh, 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 oh. And it's going to go out of bounds. And Redskins is going to retain possession. It's going to be good enough for a first down, so a lucky bounce. A lucky bounce for the Redskins as Cisco was hit hard, and then the ball come popping out. And nobody was able to recover it before it went out of bounds. So the Redskins pick up the first down. I believe 81 was hurt on that play earlier. I didn't... I didn't notice that. Yeah, I believe John McCall, John McCall uh, that. Must have happened in the first uh, series there. McCall being tended to on the sideline. The so first down and 10. Chester split out wide to the left. Martin up the middle, and Martin's going to get uh, down to about the 26. Number 33, junior Shane Martin. Picks up about seven on the play. Be second down and three. Number 14, super sophomore Zach Weldon. And we talk about these sophomores. It's real tough for a 10th grader to come up and play and be, a, be an impact that Weldon certainly has. Give to Martin. And Martin is going to pick up one, maybe no more. And number 62, Brian Perry on the offensive line. I believe we got all the line in there. Well, we got 51 Hinkle in there. Michael Johnson in at the left end now. So third down and two for the Redskins. Go to the power set with Boss leading it now. Martin's up the middle and Martin's still going. Martin's all the way down to the 17-yard line. Number 33, Shane Martin picks up the first down. And good blocking by the offensive line that time, the right side of the line. Number 77, Alex Phillips, and number 52 on that offensive front uh, for the Redskins that time, and they did a good job. Mike Emmons. And it don't hurt to have number 44 balls leading the play through the hole. Yeah, they, they did a good job. Give to Martin up the middle, and Martin is hit. After a gain of a couple on the first down play, and Martin is going to be down close to the 15-yard line. And let's see, I believe they're going to mark it about the 16. Number 10, Stephen Malone checks in along number 83, David Williams. Malone wide to the far side, and Williams wide to the near side. Chester in the slot. Wellman back to pass. Wellman sprints up, pass for Chester, and it's uh, incomplete with a flag thrown. And it's thrown right in the middle of the field. So I don't know what that uh, call is going to be. It's pass is incomplete to Chester. And let's see what the call is going to be. It's going to be holding, holding, holding against the Redskins. So Redskins going to be backed up. It's number 78. Checks in the ball game. For the Redskins, Sean Smith. And Sean, one of the seniors for the Redskins, and they're going to be back up uh, 10 yards. Be back at the 26 yard line. And that band sounds good out there tonight. Yeah, they do. Good night for football as temperatures probably down in the mid-50s. Second down now for the Redskins and about uh, 16. Back to pass is Wellman. Wellman's passed out professionally and it's incomplete. Penalty flag on the play. And we're going to have a pass interference on Hoxie as he was all over Presley. I believe uh, Jeremy would have caught that one. He hadn't been interfered with. He tried to go up with the uh, deep defender well that's had his hand on his back and I believe Presley would have been able to get up there and get a hold of that one had a reasonable chance to catch it so a uh, penalty against Hoxie is going to move the ball down to the not the 10 not the 11 yard line 
a major penalty. So first down and 10 for the Redskins on the 11. And 21, Ralph Collier checks in, 44, Greg Baltz, number 80, Michael Johnson, and number 10, Stephen Malone for the Redskins. As they go into their power set with Martin as the tailback and Baltz and Collier leading the way. Collier's the power back, and there's the give to Martin, and Martin's got some room on the left side, and Martin's going to be tackled down on about the, looks like about the three-yard line. And I thought he had it all the way. So a good run by Martin puts the ball down inside the five. That's closer to the four. So at the four-yard line, it's number 84 checks in for the Redskins. And that's Chris Breitsbach, a sophomore. Number 60, Brian Jansen in at a left guard. 62, Brian Perry at the left tackle. Second down. There's to give to Martin, and Martin is in there in for the touchdown. Well, two tonight for Martin. Number 33, Shane Martin takes it in from about four yards out, and the Redskins are on the board here again with 4.36 left to go in the first quarter. 13 to nothing. And this, of course, being another conference game for the Redskins, they're 7-0 on the year, 4-0 in the conference, trying to make it 5-0 tonight. With two more games remaining on the schedule, next week it'll be Westside at Westside, and then the Redskins will they'll wind up the regular season at Highland against Highland in two weeks. And of course, uh, the playoff picture comes into focus. The Redskins, if they got offsides on uh, Hoxie on the extra point. So the distance, half the distance to the goal is the penalty as 24, Brandon Cisco is set. Presley, the holder, there's the kick, and the kick looks good, and it is. It is good. And a good kick by number 24, Cisco, and the Redskins lead the ball game 14 to nothing with 4.36 left to go in the first quarter. Up. Number 24, Brandon Cisco kicks a deep kick. He's going to be taken on the 13-yard line by the Mustang. And he's going to be hit back there and dropped by number 33, Shane Martin. On a good defensive play, good tackle by Martin. And Hoxie's going to start their possession possession from the 20, just inside the 30-yard line. They're on 30. Be first down and 10 for the Mustang. Big, big crowd. I believe this is one of the bigger crowds. I know this is the biggest crowd we've had this year. I believe so. And a perfect night for football. As Hoxie, up the line, first down and 10. Give to the fullback, and he's hit hard in there by number 64, Pete Brown, and brought down after a gain of about three. Number 60, Brian Jensen. Checks in at linebacker. Martin comes out for rest. Also, Balt comes out 44. So, one of our, uh, well, two of our super sophomores. Brian Jansen, we hadn't said he was, but he is. He knows he is. You bet. So, two super sophomores and a linebacker right now for the Redskins. Option play right. And now they cut it up. And now he cuts it out. And he's going to be brought down there by number 24, Brandon Cisco but not until he picks up the first down out at the 43-yard line. So a first down and 10 for Hoxie as they pick up their first first down of the game. On the quarterback uh, keeper on the option. The first down and 10 for Hoxie. 325 left to go. First quarter. Redskins lead it 14 to nothing. In motion is the fullback. Quick pitch to the left side. Now he cuts it up. Now he cuts it out, and he's going to be driven down there by number 34, Chester, at the 49-yard line. And a quick pitch trying to get to the outside, and first thing we saw side, I believe, was Middleton this year, and they, early they got a little yard against the Redskins, and the Redskins adjusted to it and uh, shut the Raiders down after that. And these coaches watch them with each other play and try to develop a strategy to what might work. And 
Huxley may have thought that might have worked. Give the fullback, and he has hit hard and cut down right there. He may have got a yard or two, but coming in there to hit him was number 33, Shane Martin. <laughs> and a good hard tackle by Martin and Redskins. Of course, all the Redskins, they, they really get run to the ball well, and when one gets there, usually it's just a second or two, there's three or four more there. So, good defense by the Redskins all year long. And you know, Rob, we, uh, I got to sit down and figure it out the other day, and if I, I think I'm right, that the first team defense for the Redskins has only had two touchdowns all year scored against them. Two touchdowns, and uh, here we're in the eighth game of the season. And that's a pretty good defense. That's a pretty darn good defense. Tell you what, I'm going to take some time here to thank some of those sponsors, one being the Wyatt Vision Clinic, located on Thomasville there. One thing about Wyatt Vision Clinic, they have donated uh, contact lenses to the football players out here that in the case of uh, an emergency, if they lose one on the field, they have got one to replace them on the field. So that is a great thing that Wyatt Vision does for these boys. Once again, that's White Vision Clinic. So y'all see it. By Stephen Malone, number 10, as Austin tried a little quick pass there. And Malone breaks it up. Real quick pass. We couldn't even catch it. It's going to be fourth down now for Hoxie. And about two, line of scrimmage at 49 of the Redskins. Hoxie sets up in front formation with a minute 52 to go. And I believe they will punt this. Big rush, and the clock's going to be shanked. It's going to go out of bounds on about the 40-yard line as they're trying to line it up. And the punter shanked the ball that time, and he is uh, really taking a long time to get the punt off. And I'm sure if this, uh, if this had been a closer game, I think the Redskins would like to go after, uh -huh, to go after the punt because it takes a long time to get the punt off. That time, I, I thought the rush was coming, but only two people really rushed the punter. But he shanks it, and Redskins are for the first down and 10 at 41. Number 12, Presley, wide to the near side. 41, Brent Reynolds, wide to the other side. The far side, Chester in the slot. Martin and Cisco in the backfield. Back to pass is Wellman. Wellman's passed out in the, well, uh, I don't know what happened on that one. I can't tell you this. I think he was, ball trying, hit some pressure I think he was trying to hit uh, Chester, but it uh, fell well short. So it's going to be second down and 10 for the Redskins now at the just outside their own 40-yard line. to pass is Wellman. Wellman's pass over the middle and it's going to be incomplete and I thought we was going to get a pass interference as he's trying to hit Stephen Malone number 10 but no call as Malone was uh, well, not really hit but uh, up the line now third down and 10 for the Redskins. Wellman set a quarterback Reynolds split out along with Presley. Quick pitch to Cisco. Cisco cuts it back. Now cuts it around the far side. And Cisco got a little room over here. Cisco to the 50 and run out of bounds at about the 47. It's going to be short of the first down, though. It's going to be short by about two yards. Back to kick Martin. Martin with a kick. Going to be down on about the 19-yard line. Lined up on the play there. Hoxie with a pitch back, going up the middle, off the side. Down by number 44, Craig Walsh, and number 55, Kevin Mason. Gain of about four on the play. Right. 
as Hoxie lines up the ball. Back to pass number nine. Intercepted, almost intercepted by number 24, Brandon Cisco. So no gain on the play as Hoxie tries to... Mr. Cole, you're going to get me tickled. I'm not going to finish up on this. He's taking a coffee break, and I'm going to try to do the play the play for a little bit. <laughs> Excellent coverage by the folk on the Redskins. Outside run by... Finally taken down by number 34, Casey Chester. And the fine defense holds again. First quarter action here with a score. Both kind of Fiskins, 14. And the Hoxie Muffin. Number 10, Stephen Malone. And 80, Michael Johnson. Also 44 balls over there on the play for the Redskins. Just started the second quarter. The Redskins lead the ball game 14 to nothing over the Hoxie Mustangs in this three AA North Conference game. Redskins undefeated on the year. And two more games left after this one in the regular season. Hopefully a some playoff games as the playoff picture kind of is getting a little clearer now. Yeah, a lot clearer. Tailback off the left side, and he gets up to the close to the first down. He's across the 40 to about the 41. He's going to be short of the first down. He's going to bring up third down now for Hoxie at about two. All at the 42-yard line of the Mustang. And defensively, they didn't have a chance to set the entire defense, but number 10, Stephen Malone, and number 32, Chad Telemeyer, are the uh, cornerbacks. 24, Brandon Sisko, 34, Casey Chester, the safeties. In there right now, number 24, Ralph Collier, at the linebacker. Craig Balls, 44, 51, Chris Hinkle, 60, Brian Jansen on the defensive line. And we get the rest of them play next play. Gives the tailback, and he's going to pick up the first down, tackle by number 21. Ralph Collier, but it's going to be good enough for a first and ten for Hoxie. So a first down and ten for Hoxie up at the 40, about the 43 and a half yard line. 10-24 left to go in the first half. Redskins lead at 14 to nothing. And Pretty much in control of the ball game as Hoxie come in with two wins on the season, uh, one win in the conference. They defeated Pickett. And I don't believe they got to play off in time. They were hurrying, trying to, but unable to do so. It's going to be a delay of game penalty against the Mustang. Take this time to thank another one of our sponsors, that being Pocono Family Clinic. Clinic, quick, quick. I'm going to get it out, Gary, before it's over with. And that's uh, Dr. Albert Balk, Danny Holt, Andrew Jackson, Jansen, W.W. Scott, and Mr. Gunther. I believe that's the new doctor out there. I'd like to welcome him to the fine staff there at Pocono Family Clinic. That's right, Ron, and we do appreciate the sponsors. We enjoy doing the replay. Uh, as you can see, we're not professionals at it, but... Uh, we enjoy the, the devil out of it. I like to watch these kids play as the pass is completed. And he's immediately tackled by Martin and then a whole bunch of red jerseys coming there to help out on a first down and 15 play. And the game's going to be up to the 46-yard line. It's second down now and seven for the Mustangs. And we said about the sponsors, you know, we appreciate the sponsors doing this. Uh, because without them, we, we would not be able to do it. That's right. And uh, we hope people enjoy watching the playback. Back to pass is the quarterback. 
Fastest flat miss completed, and he's immediately dropped by Malone on a good defensive play. Number 10, Stephen Malone, dropped him short of the first down at the 48-yard line, 49-yard line of the Redskins. It's going to bring up third down now for Hoxie, and a good play by Malone. It was a good pass by the quarterback, and the receiver caught the ball on, on the run. is a little out pattern, and Malone dropped him right where he caught the ball. And it's third down, nine, two, and the Redskins defense would like to hold right here and get a chance to get the ball back. Give the tailback, and he is stacked up very close to a first down. Really depends on where they spot it. And he appears to be, well, let's see where they do spot it. Looks like got he appeared to be a little bit short. Uh, I can't really good see spot. Really it's going to be, so they're going to measure that ball. That's uh, awful. I don't think he's short. He's, he's short. short. I see it from here. Yeah, I, I better look it over again. They're a little short. I believe he's a little short. He's short by about uh, six or eight inches, I six believe. Eight. I'll go the length of football. Okay. How much is he short by, Ron? Six inches, Gary Cole. I know. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got good eyes. No, I was a lucky guess. Yeah, that is. Okay. <laughs> I was looking at the camera. Now, he looks he to be a little short, but it really depends on the spot. But it's going to be fourth down now for Hoxton. Let's see what they elect to do here with 8.21 to left in the first half. Redskins lead the ball game 14 to nothing. Hoxton with a fourth down and about six inches for a first down, and they're going to go for it here from the 47-yard line of the Redskins. So the Redskins can hold here. They'll have this ball back in good field position. Quarterback sneak, and he's going to have the first down. Looks like a fumble. No, nope. they pushed him back there, Gary. Nope. His forward progress got uh, close to the 45-yard line, and that's going to be good enough for the first and 10 by Hoxie. So Hoxie converts on their fourth down play. Hey, I'm telling you what, I'm going to dig in down here. I'm going I'm to get a little... Uh, this guy right here takes the pictures for that star hero to help them out. That's Mr. Bob Tisco. And he's done an outstanding job. That's what it I've seen a lot of pictures he's taken this year of the, of the senior high Redskins and some of the junior high and uh, done a good job. Pass over the middle, it's complete. And down to the 37-yard line, so a little quick pass. And Hoxie's trying to open the Redskins up a little bit with, with the pass as number 61, Chad Benson, checks out. And the 55, Kevin Mason, another one of those super sophomores, checks in. And defensively, I don't think we had any change. Of course, McFall, 81, is, is out of the ball game. McFall apparently has had some type of leg injury. Pitch out, left side, and he's going to be cut down by Martin. And good play by number 33, Shane Martin, as he was there and made the tackle for a gain of maybe a yard. So third down now and about two for the Mustang at the 36 and a half yard line of the Redskins. They're going to have a timeout by Hoxie. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a little time also and tell, tell about Bob Cisco also. He also gives the seniors and the coaching staff pictures. He gives them some pictures. So that's awful nice of that man. He, you may not think he does too much once in a while, but oh, he, yeah. he, he kicks that in a little bit, so I'm going to toot his horn a little bit. Oh, yeah. Once again, we'd like to thank some of our sponsors again, being Pocahontas Ford Body Shop. That's uh, Keith Sutton and the staff over there. Bring a lesson back to your car or truck. I'll tell you what, he can make a car change back to new before your eyes. That's right. That's a good job. I've seen some of his work, and uh, he's pretty good at it. Okay, third down and a short two for Hoxie. Get to the fullback and he stops right there. And I don't know who somebody cut his feet right out from under him. Here we go. 80, Michael Johnson. Another one of those super sophomores. Number 80, Michael Johnson. And a loss on the play, so it's going to be fourth down now and, and three. And Hoxie's going to go back into front formation. And this time, if this punter don't get the ball off a little quicker, somebody's going to block one of these. My buddy Brian Jansen will get one. And there's the kick, and the kick is going to be going to roll dead down about the six-yard line. So the Redskins will get the ball back after a long, long time. They haven't had the ball. 
They do get it back now with 6.13 left to go in the first half. They lead it 14 to nothing. And with the ball down on their own six-yard line. And I was, well, I was saying, I was, I was kind of ribbing Brian a little bit on that block punt last week that uh, didn't know he had that kind of speed. A week before last, he picked the game. I know he had that kind of speed, but uh, put him in there. He'll go for it. I guarantee you. See what all of them are. But he got that turn off a little quicker than he did the other one. I think maybe Coach told me he's going to have to it a little quicker. Option play, Chester with the ball. Chester cuts it outside. Penalty flag on the play. Chester to the 20 and out to about the 25-yard line. But I feel sure that one's coming back. As Chester, that time the Redskins went to the option offense, the other type of offense that they do run, and penalty flags thrown right in the backfield, the direction of the run, which usually indicates the offensive holding. Yeah, and I imagine that's what it's going to be as number 60, Brian Chanson, checks in. And checking out for the, for the Redskins, number 56, Chris Dickert. Jackson will be going in at an offensive guard, I believe. So that's going to back the Redskins up. In, inside the five yards, line, 84, Chris Brightspot checks in the game. 80, 80 Michael Johnson comes out. And we'll see if the Redskins stay in the option type offense. And they do. 34 Chester's the quarterback. 44 Craig Balls is the fullback. Martin is the tailback. Option play. Chester keeps and cuts it up and is only going to get a couple yards. Five thirty left to go in the first half. Redskins lead the ball game. 14 nothing. said last night, bonfire was last night, all the food you could eat, I guess, up there. Nice big yeah. bonfire. Yeah, they had a big fire up there. Chester now set a quarterback on second and 13. Penalty flag on the play. Chester cuts to the outside. Chester to the 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 40, 30, 10, touchdown. And again, coming back. Flag on the play, and the line of scrimmage was the three-yard line, so a 97-yard touchdown by Casey Chester is going to be going to be coming back. The illegal procedure against the Redskins. 97-yard touchdown by number 34, Casey Chester, but it's all for zero as illegal procedure the call against the Redskins, and the flag was thrown just as the play started, and you could. That was a good run by Chester. You could see that speed. I tell you what, he was putting it on, and it was going I down, know. down, down the field. Oh, there was nobody. Once he broke out here about the 25-yard line, it was over. Uh, the Mustangs now, as well, you know, packed their lunch and went on a picnic because Chester was gone. But it's still exciting anyway. You bet. And I think Casey, maybe. I think Casey needed to exercise. He, he did. He just needed to get so warmed up, I guess. And I'll watch him, he'll do it again. One more time. It's like a mirror effect sometimes. As Chester that time, and that's, uh, I guess that's the longest run from, from scrimmage that I've seen by the Redskins. So and, far, uh, I'll tell in, in the four years we've done it. Well, I know in the four years that I, in, in the 13 years off and on that I've watched them, this time Chester gives the ball to Martin, and Martin cuts it outside, now cuts it up. And he's going to be stopped at about the 13-yard line. That's a, on a second down and 14 play. And I know Casey would have liked to put that one up on the board. I bet you would also. And that would have been nice here with 350 left to go in the first half. Redskins lead the ball game 14 to nothing. And I'm sure they'd like to add to that score here before halftime. As Chester is set at quarterback, Chester turns around the left side. Now Chester cuts it up. Now he cuts it out. And Chester is going to be shot short of the first down on the third down and nine play. And Ritzkin is going to be forced to punt here deep in their own territory as they come up a couple yards short. So fourth down. And 
Well, about three. The line of scrimmage will be the 13-yard line. Number 33, Shane Martin, standing in his own end zone to punt. Good snap and a good punt by Martin. It's going to go all the way out to the 43-yard line and fair toss there by Hoxie. So Hoxie will take over first down and 10 from their own, or from the Redskin 43-yard line. And we'll be back with more football action in just one moment. Okay, Hoxie up the line now, first down and 10 from the 43. Give a tail back and he's cut down by number 55, super sophomore Kevin Mason. And boy, those sophomores really, I really like to see them make plays like that. <laughs> These are 10th graders. These guys played junior high football last year. And for them to come out and play the way some of them have played this year, that's, uh, they've really done a tremendous job. And I think Chester's in the water jug. Water jug, he's trying to get water down. After that uh, 97 yard touchdown, it was all back. I think he deserves a little, you bet. A little shot of water. Quarterback roll out of Michael Johnson's got him. And how about them super sophomores? 80, Michael Johnson, another one of them. And Mason makes one play on one end. Johnson comes back on the next play and makes a minus yardage play on the other end. Now, you, you can't just, you can't ask for better than that. No, you can't. Out of your sophomores. They have really done well. And they're not just those two, they all have. All of them getting a lot of play in time and doing real good. Third down play, back to pass. This quarterback pass is complete. And he's going to be finally brought down by host the Redskins. Uh -oh. Penalty flag on the play. I think it was a from behind it. I don't know what's called. I think it's going to be a piling on against the Redskins. Or face mask. face mask, okay. So that's going to add more yardage onto it. And Hawks is going to have the ball down deep in Redskins territory here. And the Redskins only lead this ball game 14 to nothing, which, uh, it really, you know, the West going around. It seemed like the Redskins ought to be up four touchdowns. But well, you uh, think so? I think they dom dominated that much, but they uh, they're letting Hoxie stay in the ball game as number 57 checks in defensively for the Redskins. That's Joe Jansen, a junior. So first down and ten for Hoxie. The line of scrimmage is about the 19-yard line. Quick pitch to the right side. Michael Johnson trying to get him, and Michael Johnson trips him up. And also over there to make sure he was down with number 10, Stephen Malone. Craig Baltz also over there, but Johnson tripped him up, and Malone about at the same time and brought him down after a gain of uh, a couple yards. Be second down and eight. Ball near the 17-yard line of the Redskins. A minute, eight seconds left to go. Hoxie took wide receivers to the left. Give to the fullback up the middle. And he stopped after a gain of about, about two or three. Number 51, Chris Hinkle, getting up off the bottom of the pile. Let's talk about Mr. Chris Hinkle and his daddy. Mr. Larry Hinkle. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, he's another fine sponsor, Pocahontas Athletic Club. That's right. These boys got to keep built up, and, of course, we've got a good athletic club here. And these guys spend a lot of time over there during the summer working on the weights. Back to pass is the quarterback. Being rushed, he's hit. Pass complete, and he has shot attack, no doubt. Number by number 10. By number 10. <laughs> hey, old Stevens getting in there. Stevens getting in there. Had a couple of good hits last week over Corning, and that time comes up from another one. And now Hawks is going to be faced with a fourth down with 11 seconds left in the first half and the clock running down. And apparently Hawks don't have any timeouts left. No, they do. They take it with three seconds to go in the first half. Okay, we're back here fourth down. And Hawks is going to attempt the field goal here with three seconds to go. The snap is down. The kick is up. And it looks no good. The field goal attempt was no good off to the left side, and the Redskins hold here to end the first half, and they go into the locker room with a 14 to nothing lead here in the homecoming game, 1993, 
Ford 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 Chris Shepard and Butch Williams for a new Ford car or truck, plus a great selection of used and factory cars, too. Pocahontas Ford Mercury, downtown Pocahontas. City in Pocahontas for a lot of fun. Fun for the whole family. Three go-kart tracks, skating rink, two putt-putt golf courses, arcades and concessions make Fun City the family place. Fun City is located right behind the Walmart Supercenter in Pocahontas and is open Tuesday through Thursday, 5 to 11. Fridays, 3 to midnight. Saturday, noon to midnight. And on Sundays, 1 till midnight. Fun City has something for everyone. So come on out today. Fun City behind Walmart Supercenter in Pocahontas. They're like a... Owners Larry and Janice Hinkle invite you to the Pocahontas Athletic Club on Highway 67 Southeast Pocahontas. You just feel better staying fit and trim, and Pocahontas Fitness Center can help. They have it all. Workout and toning tables, suntan beds, machine weights, free weights, and more. And a playroom for the kids while you work out. Let the professional staff advise you on the program best suited for you. Stay fit, stay trim, stay healthy. From Pocahontas Athletic Club, Highway 67 South. Owned and operated. Make bank of Pocahontas is home owned and operated, making us hometown people. We're a community bank and have been providing the banking needs of our community since 1903. The Bank of Pocahontas offers full service on Saturdays until noon, and we're easy to find downtown on the square. Join our team, a hard-working team with a winning record. We're hometown people. Pocahontas, serving since 1903. New technology. Communication. Information. Entertainment. Cable television. Working to make it better is a familiar theme with TCA. So is the goal of keeping prices low and the quality of service consistently high. This effort will keep cable television the best entertainment value in town. In the big picture, it's been just a few short years since the early days in Sulphur Springs, Texas. TCA's growth and industry standing are testimony to sound business practices and a determination to respond to those who make everything possible, the customer. We've got the commitment to use our resources and the people to implement the technologies to respond to the future of television. And that's Wyatt Vision Clinic, located at 204 Thomasville. They're proud sponsors of Redskins Football. That's Dr. William Wyatt. And once again, that's Wyatt Vision Clinic, 204 Thomasville. And Pocahontas Family Clinic, located at 2901 Medical Center, where they're healthy sponsors of Redskins Football. Ford Body Shop, 300 West Everett Street, with their body shaping crowd to be Redskin sponsors. Stop by and see Keith Sutton and staff today where they can bring a lesser back to your car. After one major fender bender, he can straighten it up to make it look like new again. That's Keith Sutton and Pocahontas Ford Body Shop. And Family Dental Care of Pocahontas. That's 213 West Broadway where they're chewing it up to be Redskin sponsors. That's Dr. Dennis Holt and Dr. Paul Ball. That's at 213 West Broadway in downtown Pocahontas. And K&M Auto Machine, where you're their Napa Park store at 805 South Bettis. 
where we're proud to be part of your Redskins football. Being an Auto Machine Company. Once again, that's your Napa Store dealer. Now back to Pocahontas for Redskins football. That's Go Skins Go. Y'all stay tuned. Foxy will kick off to start the second half. Redskins set back to receive. And the ball is going to be taken down to number 41, Brent Reynolds. And Reynolds breaks it up the sideline and gets to the 40 and all over the 40. So about the 42-yard line before he's knocked down. Number 41, Brent Reynolds on the kickoff return for the Redskins and returns it out to the, I think it's about the 38. So the Redskins will take over there first down and 10 at the 38-yard line. As we start the second half, Redskins lead the ball game 14 to nothing over Hoxie. Redskins come into the ball game 7-0, undefeated on the year. 4-0 in the conference, trying to make it 5-0 as number 14, Zach Wellman, is in at quarterback. Cisco and Martin in the backfield. Pitch out the left side to Cisco. Cisco trying to get around. And Cisco cuts it up. Now he's down the sideline. They say he went out of bounds right on the 50-yard line. And let's see where that they, they do mark it. And I believe that's where, yeah, right at the 50. So first down and 10. First and 10 for the Redskins as Cisco is just a little shy of the 50. Let's call it to 49. And Brandon Cisco on a good run. Number 24, senior for the Redskins, tailback. And the Redskins now with first down. Wellman, number 14, is quarterback. Pitch back to Cisco. Cisco's on the outside. 40. And out of bounds. Right at the 40-yard line, and I believe it's another first down, so another good pickup by 24, Brandon Cisco and the Redskins moving the ball here to start the second half. Coming out and doing a good job. And it's going to be first down, and, well, let's see, have they, have they said first down yet? I, it looks like this first down, but it hasn't moved it yet. And now they stop at the, the chain. They didn't move the chains. They should have moved there because it was the first down. So he got down to the 40. Ball sitting right on the 40-yard line. And the Redskins lead this 1993 homecoming game for the Redskins and pretty, been pretty much in control of the ball game. Have had a couple of costly penalties that uh, cost them in the first half. A 97-yard touchdown run by Casey Chester was called back because of the penalty. Wellman gives to Martin, and Martin breaks loose. Martin is about to the 30. We'll see where they mark it, but it's going to be very close to another first down. And they're going to mark it just a little short of the first down, but it's down close to the 30-yard line. Shane Martin, number 33, on the run for the Redskins. I thought he was going to break it away there, Gary, and run it on in. He, looked, he was trying to. He sure was. 77, Alex Phillips. And at the right yard, number 52, Mike Emmons at the right tackle. Pitch out Cisco. Cisco cuts it up. Now he cuts it out. And Cisco's the 25, 20, and wrestle out of bounds at the, about the 16-yard line. Brandon Cisco getting to that corner quick. And uh, another big gainer for the Redskins as it's down to the... 16-yard line, first down and 10 from the 16. And the Redskins coming out th in this uh, second half and really taking it to the Mustang. As that speed, you can really see it. As Brent Reynolds, number 41, split wide to the right. Wellman has the ball to Martin, and Martin's going to be bulldog and brought down at about the 14. Casey Chester checks back in. 41, Brent Reynolds comes out. And don't forget next week, folks, the Redskins will be on the road down at Westside for another important 3AA North Conference game. Chester split wide right. Penalty flag from before the play started. So apparently it's going to be on Hoxie offsides against the Mustangs. It's going to cost them five yards. It's going to back it up a little bit. So the... 
Rick Skinner will have the ball down inside the 10 at about the 9 yard line, about the 8 and a half. Let's call it the 8, just to make it a good round number. Just a good round. So second down and 3 from the 8. It's a long 3, I believe. Wellman pitched to Cisco. Cisco cuts it up now, he cuts it out. It's Cisco for 5, and he is in for the touchdown, I believe. He is. And it's 24. Brandon Cisco takes it in for the touchdown, and the Redskins are on the board again here with 9.49 left to go in the third quarter. So that's the first time I heard that bell go. They must have got that little jewel pick. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, huh? And we're going to have the extra point attempt. It's going to be taken by number 22. And uh, that's John Davidson. And the kick is up, and it looks good. It, it is. Real good. Number 22, sophomore John Davidson adds a point to it. And the Redskins lead the ball game 21 to nothing with 9.49 left to go in the third quarter. Number 24, Brandon Cisco, set the kickoff after the touchdown by the Redskins. It's going to be taken on about the 19-yard line by Hoxie. And he's going to be swarm down there with about nine of the Redskins. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm not going to count. I want to take your word for it. I think there was two standing up. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at there was two. And they were trying to get on top of the pile, too. Oh, okay. I think, I don't know. I, I think... Uh, I think they get an extra incentive to, to do that. Yeah, but they sure did good. And Redskins now on defense. Hoxie with the ball. The line of scrimmage, the 34-yard line, just inside the 35 of the Mustang. Pitch back to the right side, and he's going to be brought down there by number it was 51. Mega 33 Martin and number 44 44 Balt. Also Fears, number 40, Jerry Fears is in on the play. It's gonna be a gain of about three, second down and seven for the Mustang. 43 yard line of Hoxie. It's the line of scrimmage and the Redskins pretty much in control of this ball game from the start. Yeah, up the middle, and he's going to be stacked up for practically no gain. They may give him a little bit, and stacked up by that uh, defensive front there, number 51, Chris Hinkle. And number 44, Balts, getting up off the bottom of the pile, along with Martin. I think on every any time the ball goes up the middle, we can just about, we can just about include four or five of those players, and sometimes there'll be another one six in on the play, so... The front line, defensive line, are really playing well for the Redskins all year long. Back to pass is the quarterback pass. It's going to be incomplete as Stephen Malone covering out there number 10 in the flat. And I believe number 61, Chad Benson, checks in. Number 21, Ralph Collier, checks in. As number 55, Kevin Mason. And number 33, Shane Martin, checks out. Standing back deep on his own, uh, that on his own 30 is Chester. And Chester is going to let this one hit. And then it's going to be down by Hoxie on about the 39-yard line. So the Redskins will take over first down and 10 from their own 39. And don't forget, next week, the Redskins will be on the road at Westside. It'll be the first time that, um, first time I've ever been down there at Westside in football. And they're in the conference this year, one of the new teams added, along with Nettleton, that's in the conference. So a conference game next week down at Westside. And we'd like to have uh, a lot of people come down as the Redskins move on, hoping to uh, get the championship. There's a pass down the flat, and it's going to be intercepted. And up the sideline is the Mustang. He's going to be dragged down by number 10, Stephen Malone. But the pass intended for Casey Chester is intercepted by Hoxie, and now they've got the ball at the Redskin 40-yard line with 740 
left to go in the third quarter. Redskins lead the ball game 21 to nothing. There's another time to thank one of them fine sponsors, and that's, uh, of course, the Bank of Pocahontas, serving the community since 1903. Tell you what, there's a bunch of good old folks down there at the Bank of Pocahontas. Every well, time you go down there, you get a friendly smile and a friendly response from anything that you ask for. So I like you going down there. So y'all stop by and see the Bank of Pocahontas and thank those folks for sponsoring this game here. First down and 10 for Hoxie. Ball at the 40 of the Redskins. Give to the tailback, and he is... Sets up is going to be dragged down by number 44, Craig Balt, after a gain of about uh, four on the play. And, you know, uh, on Hoxie, you know, coming in, they've only won a couple of ball games. Like they defeated Salem and uh, Pickett. But, uh, you know, they don't, uh, they, they've really played hard. They give the Redskins... Uh, not really, uh, Redskins been in control of the ball game, but Hoxie's not laid down for the Redskins. They've played very hard, and you got to give them credit. And they're still playing hard, and hit hard there by number 33, Martin, and drove back. There's the ball carrier, number 40, Fears, getting up off the bottom of the pile. But Fears kind of hit him at the ankles and slowed him down, and then Martin just uh, almost immediately popped him high and drove him back. So it's going to be third down. Third down and uh, about six for the Mustangs. Ball to 37 of the Redskins. Six minutes left to go. Third quarter. Redskins lead it 21 to nothing. Split wide out to the left is a receiver. Pass is attempted pass. Now he's brought down as I think he really wanted to throw it and maybe he wasn't open and he pulled it down and took off. With the ball, drug down first by number 55, Kevin Mason. Number 77, Alex Phillips. In on defense now, getting in on the tackle also. Defense with the Redskins, 24, Brandon Cisco, 34, Chesh Casey Chester at safety. 32, Chad Tiedemeyer. And number 10, Stephen Malone's are the cornerback. 55, Kevin Mason. 80, Michael Johnson are the ends. And Hoxie with a fourth down play, option play, ball is on the ground, and the ball is going to be recovered by Hoxie all the way back on the 45-yard line. Ball is going to be on the 45-yard line, and Redskins going to take over there as Hoxie won a fourth down play, and the pitch, a uh, little option play, and the pitch went, went wild. The Redskins almost came up with it, then it squirted away from them, and Finally ended up on the 46 of Hoxie, and the Redskins have the ball first down and 10. And number 34, Casey Chester, is going to check in at quarterback. As Coach Williams is going to get a look at uh, the option here once again. Chester with the ball. Chester keeps it. Chester cuts outside 40, 35, 30, 20, and he's dragged out of bounds at about the 11-yard line. Number 34, Casey Chester. Takes it out just inside the 10, so it'll be a first down and goal to go for the Redskins. And one play, and bam, they're all the way down on the, right on the, uh, well, now they mark it back outside the 10-yard line, so the Redskins could get a first down without scoring. And number 51, Chris Hinkle, is the center. Number 56 in at left guard is Chris Beeklert. Option play, give to Martin up the middle, and Martin is down to the five, inside the five. So it's going to bring up second down now for the Redskins. Ball just inside the five-yard line, second down. And they can get a first down without scoring. They're going to have to get to the inside the one-yard line. 34, Casey Chester is the quarterback. Martin, Cisco and Collier in the backfield. Option play, Chester with a keeper. Chester cuts it up, and Chester is going to be down close to the goal line. They're saying he didn't get in, but he's very close to the goal line. The 34, Casey Chester from the quarterback position. The 55, Kevin Mason checks in. Number 60, Brian Jansen. Number 84, Chris Blackstock. Alex Phillips. Chris D. Clerk and Michael Johnson come out for a little rest as it's third down 
and about a half a yard to go for a first down, about a yard to go for a touchdown. Chester, the quarterback, Chester turns, cuts it up, and Chester's in for the touchdown. Number 34, Cassie Chester takes it in for the touchdown, and the Redskins are on the board again here with 3.54 left to go in the third quarter, and number 22, John Davidson on the field to attempt the extra point, and John, a, a sophomore, has done a good job. Uh, he's got to kick two or three this year, and done a good job of it as, of course, the Redskin kicker number 24, Brandon Cisco, a senior, so Coach Weldon and Coach uh, Williams trying to get uh, another kicker worked into the, to the offense here. It'll be back next year, giving him some good game experience. Once again, it's time to thank one of those fine sponsors out there, that being uh, Llewellyn's Carpet, where you can get a good deal on a carpet all you want, Berber and all down there. I see Larry Llewellyn off of 67 in Broadway down there. You know Larry Llewellyn, you know, he's oh, a yeah. famous avid duck hunter. And, of course, this weekend, we want to tell you all, uh, Saturday uh, at 7 o'clock, we've got the Ducks Unlimited Banquet. And, you know, we'd like to invite everybody to come on out. It's out there at Highway 90 at the, I guess, at the Moose Lodge out there. So you all need to come on out and help support the, the wetlands there for the Ducks Unlimited. That's right, a good program. And this weather makes me feel more like duck season. <laughs> it's getting colder, isn't it? Getting cooler. Perfect night for football since they're down in the low 50s. And number 12, Jeremy Presley, is the holder. Number 22, John Davidson, set to attempt the extra point. And the kick is up. And the kick is good. Good, yeah, good, good, good. John Davidson gets his second point of the night as he makes the extra point. And the Redskins expect their lead out 28 to nothing over the Hoxie Mustang. And there's those cheerleaders that keep this spirit of the team going. And they got the banner going, the Redskin Pride Pocahontas High School Band. And I believe the, the homecoming court, John Dave's, uh, they've retired down there. I, I think believe. so. I think they're getting ready for the getting ready activities for the, the big here. dance afterwards. A lot of big people, big dance. I wish they had that uh, bonfire they had last night started up. That'd feel pretty good about right now. Sure would. And right. next next week the schedule is, uh, of course, Thursday night the Junior High Redskins will close out their season against the Junior High Bobcats from Corning next Thursday night. Game time, 7 o'clock. And the Junior Redskins added another victory last night over Westside in a real good ball game. Here's one of them young Redskins there. You sure. I it is, and Cisco gets a deep kick this time, taken on the 16-yard line by Hoxie, and he's immediately hit by number 64, Pete Bounds, at about the 31-yard line. I said immediately, but uh, it was a sudden impact. Sudden number impact. 64, Pete Bounds, and mo some more Redskins on the, in on the play. Ba Bounds was the first one to get there. And when these Redskins do meet the ball carrier, it is sudden impact. And usually it's just a millisecond until there's about three or four more impacts. A good job by the Redskins. Number 60, number 21, Ralph Collier. Number 60, Brian Jansen in the at linebackers now for the Redskins. Tackle made in there by number 55, Kevin Mason. Chris Hinkle, 51, also in on the tackle. And the Redskins probably going to send a lot of new faces in as number 75 gets set to check in. That's Josh Bettis, another sophomore. Number 60, Brian Jansen, comes out for rest. Brian Jansen, another one of our super sophomores. Has played a lot this year on the offensive line for the Redskins. Played some on the defensive line. Played some at linebacker. Getting a lot of experience as a sophomore. Give to the fullback, and he has cut down over there by number 80, Michael Johnson. Also, number 64, Pete Bounds. In there, number 40, Jerry Peters. 51, Chris Hinkle. I think I just need to make a recording. Yeah. yeah I mean, when the ball goes in the middle, just to name all of the, name all the players all the in the middle, because they're all in on the tackle. No standing around defensively for the Redskins as they move to the ball and done a good job all year long. We talked about the schedule next week. Uh, the junior high Redskins go Thursday night. 
Friday night Sing High Redskins on the road at Westside. Third down play, penalty flag. Throwing on the play, a quarterback keeper. But I believe it's going to be illegal procedure against the Mustang. Third down and five play. And the Redskins are probably going to accept this penalty and back it up. And that will be the outcome. And a good job this year by the Redskins coaching staff. Everybody's uh, done real, real well. The players are really uh, concentrated. They've take, taken it one game at a time like you've got to. Coaching staff done an excellent job with Coach uh, David Wellman, head coach, Coach Dave Williams, and assisted, uh, well, really they've got more than one, uh, one or two assists. Coach Dallas hired senior high assistant. Back to pass is the quarterback. Pass is going to be no, nearly intercepted by hey. number 34, Chester. He got a hand on it up at the 45-yard line, but a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Pass incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth down. We talked about the assistant. So Coach John Malone is down on the field with the uh, senior high Redskins. He uh, acts as a coach and a trainer. And, of course, junior high uh, head coach Alan Bennett works the headphones up here in the press box down to Coach Wellman. So a, a, a uh, effort by all the Redskins. Chester picks it up. Now he cuts it around the outside. And Chester trying to get away. And Chester to the 50, 45, 40. 30 and down the 29 yard line and Chester comes up with a big punt return all the way to the 29 yard line. Penalty flag on the play back at the 44 yard line of the Redskins and you can almost bet what that's going to be. That's going to be a clip and that's what it is. A clip against the Redskins so the Redskins have gotten a lot of penalties the last two or three ball games and of course in a game like this it uh, don't hurt as bad but uh, in a tough ball game it could be a problem. It's going to move the ball back inside the 30 of the Redskins to about the 29-yard line. And I believe we're going to have a new look offense out there for the Redskins. Uh, slightly different. Look, Chester's still going to stay in at quarterback. Minute 32 to go in the third quarter. Redskins lead the ball game 28 to nothing. Chester is going to check in at quarterback Martin and Cisco in the backfield along with Ralph Collier, 21. And Redskins up the line, give to Martin, and Martin is up the middle across the 35 to about the 36 yard line. So a quick pop up the middle for 33, Shane Martin. That's going to make it second down and four. Second and four for the Redskins here as the third quarter's winding down. Less than a minute to go. Redskins lead at 28 to nothing. They have been pretty much control the ball game. Chester set, hand the ball to Martin up the middle. And Martin's off to the right side. Martin's at 50, 35, 40, 30, 25, 20. And down the 14-yard line, number 33, Shane Martin, breaks it all the way to the 14-yard line of Hoxie before he's finally brought down. And a big, big run by Martin. And the Redskins are knocking on the door again. Down inside the 15 at about the 13-yard line. First down and 10 from the Hoxie Mustang 13-yard line. And a big run by Martin. And, you know, Ron, we watched Shane Martin. Martin, of course, just a junior. And has done an excellent job for the Redskins even last year. But he, he seems to me to get stronger as the game goes on. That's true. Pitch out. Cisco around the left side. Cisco cuts it up. Now he cuts it out. And still going. Still on his feet. He cuts it into the end zone. They're saying he went out of bounds. I thought he'd gotten in, but they I thought he was too. They went out of bounds on what about the five? Right about that. Oh, uh, yeah, they're gonna play just inside the five. Not right at the five. Let's call it five-yard line. 
Number 24, Brandon Cisco, on a good run and gets it down. It's going to be second down and one, so nearly a nearly a 10-yard pickup for Cisco. Number 34, Casey Chester, in its quarterback. Chester gives the ball to Cisco. Cisco's in for the touchdown. Number 24, Brandon Cisco, takes it in for another touchdown. And the Redskins are on the board again here with 22 seconds left to go in the third quarter. They lead the ball game 34 to nothing. And offensively, uh, Redskins just uh, too much for Hoxie. And I know after the uh, next series of the uh, next time Redskins get the ball, I imagine we'll see a lot of faces. A lot of the kick this time is going to be a little wide by number 22, John Davidson. Kick a little wide to the left. So the Redskins are going to lead the ball game 34 to nothing with 22 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Number 24, Brandon Cisco, set the kick out of the touchdown. And the kick's going to be taken down on the 19-yard line. He's going to be immediately dropped by number 21, Ralph Collier. And that's why we say Ralph's a super sophomore. He likes, he likes this contact. Uh, Ralph Collier on the kickoff coverage team nails the ball there just as he picked the ball up. And he had return yardage of... About a yard and a half. About a yard that's, and a half. That's pretty really good kick coverage. Well, she kind of had a little bit of trouble picking the ball up, but once he got it, Ralph Collier, number 21, was there to make sure he was down. Give the tailback, and he slowed up, and then finally brought down by the Redskin defense, number 49, in on the play for the Redskins. That's uh, Chris Rose, a junior. And that's going to bring the end of the third quarter with the Redskins leading this ball game over the Hoxie Mustangs, 34 to nothing. And we'll be back with more fourth quarter action in just one moment. With over 20 years of service to Northeast Arkansas, Lou Allen's Carpet in Pocahontas is the place for professional service and in-house installation. They have a large selection of vinyl floors in stock and on display by Tarquette, Armstrong, and Mannington, plus a wide selection of Saxony, Berber sculptured and trackless carpeting in popular brands. Shop Lou Allen's Remnant Rack for a good selection of roll-ins and remnants. Lou Allen's offers residential, commercial, and industrial, and is state licensed. Lou Allen's Carpet, downtown Pocahontas. For the best dollar value in quality clothing, there's only one place to go. Spikes in Pocahontas and now in Walnut Ridge. Ladies, you'll find names like Haberdashery, Peter Popovich, Leslie Fade, Bum Equipment, Esprit, Liz Claiborne, 62 East, California Ivy, Misty Lane, and more. Guys, Spikes has name brand suits and dress clothes, plus Roper Western Wear, Jeans by Levi, Lee, Lawman, and more, plus those great-looking Levi Dockers, and Spikes has Buster Brown and Bugle Boy clothes for kids. So remember, for the best dollar value in quality clothing, there's only one place to go. Spikes on the square in Pocahontas and now on Main Street in Walnut Ridge. Pocahontas Ford has changed for the better, and they want your business. Pocahontas Ford, downtown Pocahontas, is your locally owned and operated Ford Mercury dealership. They invite you to keep it at home, where you get the same great prices and service you would get anywhere else. See Sonny Ford, Jack Williams, Wayne Wildman Wildman, Chris Shepard, and Butch Williams for a new Ford car or truck, plus a great selection of used and factory cars, too. Pocahontas Ford Mercury, downtown Pocahontas. City in Pocahontas for a lot of fun. Fun for the whole family. Three go-kart tracks, skating rink, two putt-putt golf courses, arcades and concessions make Fun City the family place. Fun City is located right behind the Walmart Supercenter in Pocahontas and is open Tuesday through Thursday, 5 to 11. Fridays, 3 to midnight, Saturday, noon to midnight, and on Sundays, 1 till midnight. Fun City has something for everyone. So come on out today. Fun City behind Walmart Supercenter in Pocahontas. They're like a bit. Owners Larry and Janice Hinkle invite you to the Pocahontas Athletic Club on Highway 67 Southeast Pocahontas. You just feel better staying fit and trim, and Pocahontas Fitness Center can help. They have it all. Workout and toning tables, suntan beds, machine weights, free weights, and more. And a playroom for the kids while you work out. Let the professional staff advise you on the program best suited for you. Stay fit, stay trim, stay healthy. From Pocahontas Athletic Club, Highway 67 South. Home owned and operated.
Bank of Pocahontas is home owned and operated, making us hometown people. We're a community bank and have been providing the banking needs of our community since 1903. The Bank of Pocahontas offers full service on Saturdays until noon, and we're easy to find downtown on the square. Join our team, a hard-working team with a winning record. We're hometown serving since 1903. New technology. Communication. Information. Entertainment. Cable television. Working to make it better is a familiar theme with TCA. So is the goal of keeping prices low and the quality of service consistently high. This effort will keep cable television the best entertainment value in town. In the big picture, it's been just a few short years since the early days in Sulphur Springs, Texas. TCA's growth and industry standing are testimony to sound business practices and a determination to respond to those who make everything possible, the customer. We've got the commitment to use our resources and the people to implement the technologies to respond to the future of television. And that's Wyatt Vision Clinic, located at 204 Thomasville. They're proud sponsors of Redskins football. That's Dr. William Wyatt. And once again, that's Wyatt Vision Clinic, 204 Thomasville. And Pocahontas Family Clinic, located at 2901 Medical Center, where they're healthy sponsors of Redskins football. Ford Body Shop, 300 West Everett Street, with their body shaping proud to be Redskin sponsors. Stop by and see Keith Sutton and staff today where they can bring a lesser back to your car. After one major fender bender, he can straighten it up to make it look like new again. That's Keith Sutton and Pocahontas Ford Body Shop. And Family Dental Care of Pocahontas. That's 213 West Broadway where they're chewing it up to be Redskin sponsors. That's Dr. Dennis Holt and Dr. Paul Ball. That's at 213 West Broadway in downtown Pocahontas. And K&M Auto Machine, where you're. They're in Napa Park Store at 805 South Bettis, where we're proud to be your Redskins football. K&M Auto Machine Company. Once again, that's your Napa store dealer. Now, back to Pocahontas for Redskins football. That's Go Skins Go. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, first down and 10. And again, up the middle and the good yardage by the Hoxie running back. Finally brought down by number 65 for the Redskins. I believe that's Terrence Haley. And it is Terrence uh, Jr. And also Terrence was in on that uh, that last couple of series too offensively for the Redskins. And I failed to mention that. I saw him there as the play started and we try to get uh, all the players that's in on the play. And sometimes we miss them, but uh, we try to get all of them in if we can. We got a complete new defense. We'll try to set that for you. Give the fullback the middle. He's hit hard by number 60, Brian Jansen. Jansen playing the linebacker, and he put a hit on the ball carrier then. That's number 63 on the defensive front for the Redskins. That's Ryan D. Clerk, another sophomore. And, of course, 60 is the linebacker, Brian Jansen, 75, Josh Bettis in at linebacker. 
The cornerback's 49, Chris Rose, number 26. For the Redskins at the other cornerback is Travis James. The safeties, number 41, Brent Reynolds, number 83, David Williams. Let's set the rest of that offensive of the defensive front line. Pitch out the left side. He's going to be cut down on a good tackle by number 60, Brian Jansen again. And Jansen got there quick. Real quick. I think I think Jansen's been taking uh, fast medicine or something. He, he he's increased his speed. <laughs> I don't know. I can always kid him. But Jansen doing a good job at the linebacker here, and of course that's the Redskins that we're going to be seeing for the next couple of years and getting a lot of game experiences. A lot of uh, a lot of the sophomores have got to play this year, and the juniors also. And nothing like game experience. As number 11, Philip Brinkley, is in at the defensive end, and Philip a junior. Number 78 on the defensive front is Sean Smith. Sean, of course, the senior. And we're going to take a timeout, and let's take a timeout, will not? Well, I tell you what, we want, I want to take another sponsor, and then we'll take time out. Uh, I want to thank k and Auto. I tell you what, that's the home of our Napa Parts dealership here in Pocahontas. He stopped and see the Burns family and thank them for their sponsorship here. And that, once again, is k and Auto. Well, that's and right. the You know, Ronnie, while well, you're doing that, and we haven't had a, a whole lot of chance to talk about it on the, uh, on the replay, but... Uh, we talked a little bit about the press box being rebuilt. I'd like to explain a little bit about what we did up here. The, uh, the, the press box has been totally rebuilt. That it has. The, the old press box for the last couple of years, we've noticed it's deteriorated and it's going down. And really, uh, that uh, many of you remember just had the top on it and where the hole was cut in the top, we had some leakage. And of course, the, the school, you know, done their best to stop it. And it was just, uh, you know, something that had been here that, that uh, needed to be replaced. And uh, I'd like to thank you and the Rotary Club of uh, Polk County for, of course, being the uh, major contributor to rebuild the press box. It's been totally rebuilt. And, of course, we have some other uh, donations along with it. And we'll talk a little bit more about that at this third down play by Hoxie. Line of scrimmage, 42, quarterback with the ball. Now the ball's on the ground. And I believe Hoxie comes up with it. Uh, number 11, Philip Brinkley, come in and just level the tailback as he was trying to pick up the ball, but Hoxie was able to fall on it, but it's going to be fourth down now for Hoxie back on the 34-yard line. We're talking about the first box, the Rotary Club uh, was a major contributor to getting it built, and as all of you know, it costs to build uh, something, and what we've got here, we think, and we've had a lot of confidence on this year, is the best press box certainly in our conference and probably in AA. Fake punt pass is going to be incomplete as Hoxie tries to fake punt, and pass ball is incomplete. But talking about the press box, and we had other, other donors, of course, Mike Jones, uh, the owner out of Airflow, Mike came in and, and uh, sprayed Thermacon. That he did. Uh, and the total structure is around 1,200 square feet, including the, the bottom part, which is used for storage by the coaches for the, uh, the things you see on the field, like the yard markers, the chains, and also the hurdles that's used in the track program, and storage by the athletic department and uh, the, of course the first floor is the clock operation the radio announcers for both home and away and for the film crew from the opposing team at the top level as uh like right this play john nichols is in the quarterback 16 pitch out number 21 ralph collier and collier cuts it up and collier's going to get a uh, couple out of it when it looked like it wouldn't be going to get anything and collier cuts it up and gets some positive yardage the 21, Ralph Collier, in at the running back now. And continuing about the press box, and of course, Mike Jones, uh, we, we thank Mike for coming up and spraying uh, Thermacon in it, and made it good and tight, and uh, it's really constructed well. Ernie Massey, an employee at the school, uh, did the carpenter work and uh, did an excellent job. And uh, we were, you know, out off and on in the year, and I just... Uh, I was uh, out here quite a bit, and, and uh, I was going to say, we need to thank you, Gary Cole, for coordinating this project. It's, well, I, I'll tell you what, too, without it, we couldn't have gotten everything off the ground. Well, I, I really enjoyed it. Fumble on the play, picked up by Nichols, and Nichols is going to advance it for about a yard before he's going to be down. But I enjoyed doing it, and well, what we came up with is a good quality, as we said, uh, probably the best 
in double A and certainly one of the best around. As we looked at Green County Tech to get some ideas, and I certainly think uh, we've got uh, as good a press box or uh, better than they, they've got. As they've had some problems with it. We built this thing where it'll last a long, long time. It's that it will. It'll be here in plenty of First down family. play now, number 16, John Nichols, pitch back, and now number 40, Fears, cuts it up. And Fears is going to get a couple yards before he's driven back. So it's going to be fourth down for this one. Plus another, uh, a couple more people down there, James McCurter. And uh, James McCurter, of course, with the MPC uh, Corporation and, and Polk on us, and also the, one of the owners of Fun City. They donated some lights uh, to us. and. Uh, some of the grid work uh, for the ceilings and crop ceiling and, and all that. that. And Larry Llewellyn, Llewellyn's carpet. Uh, this nice cushion uh, carpet we're standing on. It is. It's indoor-outdoor type carpet. It should last a long time. Fifth down play, number 16, Nichols. And the quarterback give up the middle to Reynolds, and Reynolds is going to be stopped short of the first down. So the Redskins going to turn the ball over here back to Hoxie. I don't know, like, like PCA cable, because I know you did, you made some donations. Uh, yes, we did. To help get this thing built, and we appreciate that. And we appreciate you. Uh, but I guess my role in this whole deal is just being here and talking a little bit, and because uh, I like football, and, and my son plays in junior high, and he'll be playing a couple, three more years. So, uh, but I like to watch these kids play, and I enjoy football, and, and I appreciate you uh, doing what you do and putting it on the air for us. Yeah, I stay up there until about 3 o'clock in the morning sometimes, so uh, until the final of the game's over with, so you think I just go up there and put it on. I don't. I have to go up there and insert commercials that takes anywhere from three hours or better. So I, I stay up there a long time. So, uh, But I enjoy the game. Don't get me wrong, folks. I love this football game. It, Redskins are exciting to watch. And on that play, a penalty on the play, and it puts the ball down inside the 15 at the 14 for the Redskins. So first down and 10 at the 14. Number 70, Nick Wallace, in at the center now. They'll try to set that entire offense. After this play, number 16, John Nichols is the quarterback. Nichols turns the hands of the ball off 41 Reynolds, and Reynolds still going. And Reynolds gets close to the five-yard line before he's finally brought down. And a good run by number 41, Brent Reynolds. And offense is number 72, and you know, on the offensive line for the Redskins is Ryan Cooper. With number 11, Philip Brinkley checks in. Number 26, Travis James checks in. Number 84, Chris Blackstock. And as an offensive end position, number 70, Nick Wallace, the center. Number 76, and on the offensive line, Chris Smith. So it's second down and about two from about the six. Give to James up the middle, and he's down close to the goal line. He's in. Into the pitch down. Redskins, number... 26. Number 26, Travis James picks up the touchdown for the Redskins. And a good run by Travis James. And I didn't think he'd gotten in, but boy, he uh, he wanted that one awful bad. He put forth the effort and put it there in the end zone. When he got down close to the goal line, he lowered his head and he said, I want six points. And I believe that's, uh, you all know what it is, that's Travis's first touchdown of the year. Number 22, John Davidson gets set to kick, and the kick is up. And it's going to be no good. no good. The kick's no good by the Redskins. So with 6.50 left in this ball game, the Redskins lead the ball game 40 to nothing over the Hoxie Mustangs. And clearly tonight, the Redskins far superior to Hoxie. Even though Hoxie is a much improved team over last year, they they are. last year down, the Redskins handled Hoxie pretty well. And of course, they have tonight. But uh, this is a, a better team. And... Uh, they had a good junior high team this year, so they think they defeated the Redskins. In junior high, for the Redskins, uh, one of their only one of their only two losses this year, and they had uh, six uh, six to nothing, eight to nothing. And so they got a, a junior high team with some talent on it. They had a, a good junior high team last year, so I would expect Oxy to be much improved uh, over the next couple years. But this is the year of the Redskins. And the year the Redskins is right. They and deserve they, it. They've worked hard, they and sure they, have. they have a... And set the kickoff for the Redskins, number 10, Malone. Penalty flag on the play. It's going to be on the Redskins. It's going to have an offside. 
That's five against the Redskins. He's going to back it up five yards from the 10. Stephen Long's going to kick it off from his own 35 now. 6.50 left in the game. Redskins lead it 40 to nothing. Take this time to thank another sponsor out there, that being Family Dental Care of Pocahontas. We're Dr. Dennis Holt and Dr. Paul Dean Ball for all your dental care needs. Some of the nice, fine sponsors out there we've got. That's right. We, we do appreciate the sponsors. And if any of you folks are in these places, in the business that uh, do sponsor, you know, uh, we'd like to continue to do this and tell them you appreciate them doing it. Because it does, uh, it does cover the expenses to do it. The kick by Belong is going to be taken on the 20th. 27 yard line by Hoxie. And it's going to be dragged down there by number 40, I believe it was. Most of the Redskins in on the play, but number 40, Jerry Fears, heading by the jersey and dragged him back. So it's going to be first down and 10 for the Hoxie Mustang on the 43 yard line, round 43. 6.43 left in the game. Redskins lead it 40 to nothing. Next week, Redskins will be on the road down at Westside. We'd like everybody to come down. And the way you get to Westside uh, School, well, uh, we'll tell you right after this play, this first down play, get up to the tailback, and it's off the left side. And finally, it's cut down over there, number 41 Reynolds, also number 49 Chris Rose, and number 60 Brian Jansen over there. But uh, Westside School is, uh, I'm not sure the highway number, but it's there at uh, various truck stops. Everybody knows who that is going in Jonesboro. Uh, be the, the stop right there. Just take a right, and uh, I think it's out there about uh, three miles. You'll see the school, and the football stadium right behind the school. And then the West Side what? West Side Warriors. The Warriors. And the junior high Redskins last night defeated West Side 28-6. Here, pass over the middle. That's complete. And... He's cut down on a hard tackle by the Redskins there, and it's going to be good enough for the first, first and 10. I believe that was Reynolds coming up there, number 41. Put a hard hit on the ball carrier, number 73. Checks in the game now for the Redskins. And that's Seth Looney, a senior. Number 63 also in there defensively, Ryan D. Clark. Gives the tailback off the left side, and he is around and out of bounds. Finally driven out over there by number 49, Chris Rose. But it's enough for a first and ten. And I believe we got uh, 75, Josh Bettis, 60, Brian Jansen, the linebackers. Number 22 in now at a cornerback is John Davidson, the... Extra point, the uh, the other extra point kick that the Redskins have. He's made two to nine. First down and ten for Hoxie from the 33-yard line. And this time the ball came breaks outside. He's been run down by Brinkley, and he's brought down. Looked at by Reynolds, number 41. Finally brings the ball carrier down, but not until he gets down right at the 10-yard line. Number 41, Brent Reynolds. And... Brent's trying to make our super sophomore team, too. I think he's just about there. As he's uh, played a lot for the Redskins this year, offensively and defensively. Number 57, Joe Jansen, in on the defensive front. The Redskins going to take a time out here to kind of get readjusted with, with their defense. And I'm going to thank another sponsor, Fun City. Now, there's a lot of fun out there, you know it. You can go skating. They've got dancing out there. They've got, oh, man, amusement A little bit of games. Go-karts. Go go-karts. You know, we went out there the other night, Ron. My son rode a go-kart. My daughter skated. And I played putt-putt. You played putt-putt. Now, that's what you I made a hole-in-one. Now, you've got to understand, they've got an adult putt-putt and a, and, a, and a kind of a beginner's putt-putt, we understand it, out front, about nine holes, something like that. Maybe that's the one I made the hole in Oh, is that the one you made? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I'll take that back. <laughs> well, it's a challenging course out there. And, of course, uh, James McCarter out there. And, and uh, you're just going out there and support them and, and thank them for being sponsorships here this, 
of this uh, okay. risky foot bike. Okay, Ron, up the line, first down, and goal to goal for Hawks. He gives the tail back, and he's got some room over there, and he is hit, and down close to the goal line, had a couple of good hits. Number 41, Reynolds nearly brought him down, but he was able to get around Reynolds, and now it's, uh, well, let's see where they spot it, down at about the two-yard line. So the second down and goal to goal for the Mustangs. 444 left to go in the ball game. And everybody getting to play for the Redskins. They have done that tonight. And they've done that several times this year. Coach Williams likes to see that. Coach Wellman and Coach Dallas Hire gives the tailback. And he stopped short, I believe, of the goal line. Good gang tackling by the Redskins. And they, they deny him the end zone. So it's going to be third down and goal to go. At about the one. About the one. So third down, and, uh, well, let's see. Uh, that's back, I uh, believe, closer to the two. So third down, and these guys out here on the field right now, they'd like to deny Hoxie a touchdown. They're they're putting out all effort to deny him. And the ball's on the ground. And we got it. Oh. They do. The Redskins recover the fumble. Who's that masked man coming up off that ball? And number 63. Number 63, Ryan Deeklert. And Ryan comes up with the fumble, and the Redskins have the ball down inside the five. First and ten as number 63, Ryan Deeklert. And I bet your dad's proud old Ryan. You bet that one. You bet. As Ryan's one of the smaller players out there and but I tell you he, what he's, he's just, small in size he's not sm small and want to he's tough pack a good punch and they were denied a, uh, a touchdown they sure were they were denied and it's a little unusual you know but Ryan and, and Chris uh, of course that's the uh, sons of Bill and Sherry sure, 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 yeah. it's kind of unusual to have two players on the same Team. You know, some, most times you got a senior high player and a junior high player, but uh, very seldom you got two players, two on, players. on the same team. But uh, Zach Wellman is the son of assistant coach David Wellman and Sally Wellman. I guess we'd say that. You coach. better stand both. I tell you That's what. Right. I get in trouble. But you anyway, sure will. Zach, uh, of course, the sophomore quarterback, super sophomore quarterback of Red Skin, and Matt Wellman, a ninth grader. Outstanding player for the junior high Redskins. They'll be on the same team next year. They were on the same junior high team last year, and both in the backfield. So uh, everybody getting on the action for the Redskins here tonight is number 16, John Nichols, the set at quarterback. The line of scrimmage is about the well, I can really tell about the five-yard line. It's Nichols. Hands the ball to 41 Reynolds up the middle, and Reynolds is going to be stacked up. They have gained a little bit. Pass number 63, Ryan Dickert. Check sure. back in, 49, Chris Rose. 26, Travis James, who scored the touchdown all ago for the Redskins. And number 40, Jerry Fears checks in. Tell you what, we just hooked up Mrs. James out there off of Hosher Lane. Now that's the grandmother right. of, of, of the James. So they're going to see a touchdown tonight if they want you to play that. That's right. Reynolds hands the ball up the middle, and Travis James on a good run breaks it out close to a first down. Number 26, Travis James running hard from Richmond, breaks it out to about the 14 yard line, and that's going to be very close to a first down. Number 32, Chad Tiedemeyer checking in. Number 41, Brent Reynolds. 83, David Williams. And that's a good run. Number 26, Travis James gets to come out. Number 23 comes out for a rest. That's Barrett Flagg. And that's another sophomore for the Redskins. It's going to be third down now in less than a yard for a first down. Give up the middle to, I believe it was Spear, number 40. He's going to pick up the first down. I believe that was Reynolds with the ball, 48 yeah, sure was. 
it's four, it's hard to see at this angle. Four and a zero and a four one. Is this either Fears or Reynolds who got to pick up the first down. So with a minute 49 to go, Richkins get another first down. First down and 10 out of about the 12. And fumble on the play, and I believe Hoxie has recovered down at the 16-yard line. Hoxie does come up with the ball. Now we got a little cheerleader down there I'm going to get, right? T-Boy, she's just right there, a little cheerleader, getting with it. Now I'm telling you what, she's trying to do exactly what them cheerleaders do. in junior high football where we go up against the Warriors there of what side so And number 83, David Williams. And as we had to switch tapes real quick, real quick, we're fast. Boy, I tell you what, I thought we, with a minute and eight seconds left to go in the game, and we ran out of tape. Now, isn't it? That's running pretty close. Real quick. Number 70, Nick Wallace checks out. 75, Josh Bettison. 57, Joe Jansen. Number 52, Mike Emmons, defensively for the Redskins. Give to the tailback up the middle, and... He picks up about three or four before he is finally brought down in there. Number 57, Joe Jansen, and also number 71 in on the tackle. And that's our uh, foreign exchange student. And uh, would you believe it, Ron? I forgot his name, and I forgot to write it down. Forgot to write it down. Huh? But uh, the foreign exchange student, the Redskins, gets a chance to play. The pitch out left side, and Redskins stretch it out, and they make the tackle. Number 63, Ryan Deepler, in on the tackle for the Redskins, along with 83, David Williams. The ball's going to be down at about the four-yard line, and it's going to be a first down and goal to go for Hoxie from the four. 18 seconds left in the game, and Hoxie's going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout with him. Y'all stay tuned for more Redskins football in just a moment. On number 71, Thomas Lindquist is the foreign exchange student, and he got a chance to get in on the tackle on that last play. That's Hoxie with the ball. First and goal to go. Pitch out left side, and he's hit, and finally brought down and fumble on the play, and effectively going to rule him down at about the one-yard line. And the clock is running down, and I don't believe Hoxie's going to get off another play, and they don't, and the Redskins win this ball game. Forty to nothing over the Hockey Mustang. Forty to nothing is the final score, and the Redskins move to eight and zero on the year, and more importantly, five and zero in the conference. And next week will be another big conference game. Miss Lady Ray represents the sophomore class. She is a
Miss Autumn Briggs, 17-year-old daughter of Halla Briggs, and Mrs. Dana Collins. She is Vice President of the Senior Class, President of the Speech Club and FHA, Student Council Representative, Vice President of the Leo Club, and Recorder for Beta Club. Last year, she was selected as a delegate to Arkansas Girls Day and ranked in the top 10% of her class. She is also active in Spectrum, Foreign Minded Club, Key Club, Art Club, and serves as feature editor for the Smoke City. Autumn likes reading and water sports. Her plans include continuing her education next fall at Arkansas State University, where she will study psychology. Elected by his teammate, Craig Ball is homecoming track captain this year. Craig is number 44 and plays offensive fullback and defensive linebacker for the 93 Redskins. He is a three-year letterman and serves as vice president of the business club. He is also active in key clubs, PA Student Council, and was a delegate to Arkansas Boys Day. Craig has been an honor roll student, received a geometry award last year, and has attended several Aegis programs. He likes golf and swimming. He is a member of St. Paul's CYO. Craig will attend ASU or Arkansas College next year and plans to study physical therapy. He is a 17-year-old son of Mr. and Mrs. Ralph Ball.
2023 Homecoming Queen and her court.
make excellent hunting horses. And a herd of them sack woods is on their way moving this way now. Yeah! It is our potential to trap them and get the horses we so badly need. I trust that you've made excellent plans to trap those mustangs tonight. But it must be made strong and well camouflaged. Because they're wise and can detect the trap and it's not carefully planned and concealed. Then too, if they detect it, they're a fast and make a fast break and accept the trap at the last minute. Therefore, the trap must be well camouflaged, and every skin must be at its proper pose with his eyes fixed upon the mustangs and act at the exact time.